the 16th in the futures market you know the sniper strategy is uh, set up here for a trade right now so we got this uh, drop which triggered it's a pretty big setup here so a lot of times we get some retracement so I'm gonna hang out here for a few moments and see uh, which direction wants to go maybe get in at a discount but looking to jump in here on the uh, futures market using the sniper strategy Okay, I'm going to put my order in here at 3379, which was the uh, target entry to short this. So I clicked it. I'm just waiting for it to go in. All right, send. Come on. Wow, I think our swim is so slow. All right, cool. There we go. So our order is in. It's a little below the target. Three three eight zero is the target, so we'll move it to three three eight zero. Yes. Fix that. I hate that thing. I had it off by accident. All right, cool. So there it goes. Now I'll just send my orders right away. So we'll wait for that order to fill, and then uh, we'll put our stops in. Okay, so there we go. So we're in the we're in the trade, and now we'll see how this shapes up. We'll get our stops put in here. So for this uh, strategy, I don't put a, a target stop in because uh, I want to get on a closing candle so and we're on the four hours so I'm gonna go put my my emergency stop in if you will if the, if the candle spikes really bad but um, if not then we'll, we'll put our stop in at the appropriate time okay so now we got our stop in for an emergency if it spikes there if not um, I stop on the this uh, sniper strategy is a close above one uh, R here and then the uh, the profit is a close below one R and if it goes 75% of the way, I'll move my stop to uh, break even plus a couple bucks. So right there. Once it gets there, I'll move my stop to break even plus a couple bucks. All right. So because I'm not putting my target in because I'm waiting for a close to actually get out of the position, I do want to know what's happening with the trade. So once it gets to 75% of the way, I want to know that so that I could then move my stop to break even plus a couple dollars. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to bring my cursor down here to 75% of the way. Right there, right click. And then I'm going to put set an alert. So create alert. Single. Sig, uh, single. Then we get our page that pops up. And I'm going to do at or below. Because we're short this position. At or below. And then I already have it going to my cell phone, my email, all that stuff. So then I'm going to hit create. So now once this gets here, it'll it'll send a message to my cell phone letting me know that it's made it 75% of the way. So in four hours, I'll check this trade because if it's above this, I'm going to just pop out. If it hit my emergency break, then, you know, then I'm already out. Um, you know, but if it does click this and I want to get in, I want to come over and move this trade. And then after that, I'll just, uh, you know, I'll hang out and wait. I'll put my alert for uh, two times just in case we get a spike through within four hours. And then I'll move my stop down here and take a two hour profit on it. So these alerts are really helpful uh, when you're doing futures market, especially on four hour candles to be able to send you text messages and emails of what's going on. So you don't have to sit here and pay attention. You can go watch a movie or do whatever. So it's pretty awesome. So anyway, so our alert is in or and, uh, we'll uh, come back and see what happens. All right, so my alert got triggered, so now I'm going to go ahead and move my stop. Okay, so I'm going to move it to break even plus a few dollars. So with commissions, that would be for me 79.25, All right, cool. So there's my stop. So if it backs up and I'm out for a couple bucks, and cool, I'm out for a couple bucks. But uh, hopefully it'll keep on running. So now I'm going to set another alert for double 2r and i'm either going to get an alert and come back and check this because i'll either get out or it'll hit this uh, 2r target or i will um check it in on the 4-hour candle close so create alert i'm short so at or below create so that works out great. See, so I put that in, went to watch a movie with my daughter, got the alert, came back in, put the stop, put the new alert, go back, keep on watching the movie. So that's pretty awesome with Thinkorswim that you can do that.
All right, we'll be back uh, when they get the next alert or uh, in four hours when we check this candle. Okay, so I want to pop back in here. So this trade is doing really, really nice. It's awesome right now. Um, but, but this candle closes at 1 o'clock in the morning. So the question is, do I want to get up at 1 o'clock in the morning to check and see where it's at and then exit my position? And what if I don't wake up at 1 o'clock in the morning kind of thing, you know what I mean? So what I've done is I left my alert here. So if it does get here, I definitely want to try to come and close this. I'll get a text if I'm awake. Um, but I put my stop here now. So if it wants to go through this and keep on running down and I wake up in the morning and the market's down 400 points, fine. That's awesome for me. Um, but at the same time, if it backs up, I'll at least secure one to one on this trade. So and that one to one will pay for my losers. I just had a loser. So this this uh, one to one will recover that loss and then some. So it'll be pretty awesome, actually. Um, so I put my stop in here to secure that recovery of that loss. And so I don't have to be here at one o'clock in the morning to put the, the clothes in at the might get out at the close of the candle. The other question is why not just jump out right now? You know, I got one and a half R on this, which is really, really great. So why not just jump out right now? And I'm, I could, but part of me is like, you know, there's a good possibility it's going to come back down and retest this area again, you know? So I don't know. I just, it's weird for me, like just to jump out of a stock. I feel like I have to, to get forced out of it in a way, like I have to hit a, a target. So if we look at, you know, if there, if there was a trend line growing on this, it's way down here. You know, if it was here, it's way down here. If we went through here and cut through there, you know, we're already broken it, right? So when you start looking at support resistance and trend lines, which are not necessary for this strategy at all, you know, we're, we're right here at that spot. So, you know, I could, I could just jump out right here and call it a day if this thing's going to run back up. And, you know, maybe I, maybe I will in the end. We'll see what this thing does. But for now, the plan is my stop is right there per the, per the strategy, basically. I'm waiting for this candle to close or break through to R um, is what I'm waiting on right now. So here, I'll leave this on the, on the chart for you to see. You know, and we'll see. Maybe this becomes, a, you know, a thing and then it bounces, bounces off of this and rallies back up. I don't think that will happen until the next candle to be straight with you, like 1 o'clock in the morning. Weird things happen at futures. For those of you who trade futures and watch it, like 1.30 to 2.30, what happens in that one hour block? Does anybody know? Because futures gets a little crazy in that hour, like volatility, like an influx of funds, like something weird is going on there. So if you haven't paid attention to that, check it out. I, I haven't figured it out yet. But anyway, so this will be at 1 o'clock when it closes. So I would guess if this is going to rally back up off this... Uh, this line, if it is going to bounce off of it, it would happen after one o'clock, which means I'd be out anyway for one and a half hours. So I'm just going to hang out here and see what, what this ends up uh, doing. All right, traders. So we're approaching a two hour win right now. And like I said, I don't want to watch this all night and I'd rather not get up at one o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move my stop to a really tight trail at this point. Okay. You can see my stop over here on the dome, if you will, or the trading ladder. Okay, I'm gonna keep on moving this here as we approach the 333 level. And actually, I might just take this off because I'm pretty much gonna take it off once it reaches uh, 333 anyway. So we're only a couple dollars away. I'll just trail it really tight. If I get out, I get out. Come on. 335. So if I miss 2R by 3 bucks, I'm fine with that. In 10 minutes, a 30 minute candle is going to close. So we'll probably get retracement on that as well. And then after that, who knows? We could be sideways for a while and I don't want to have to get up at one in the morning. Okay, 335. All right, there you go. So we are out of that trade. What a nice trade. Almost 2R on that thing. Just missed it by a few dollars. We would add two times our risk on it. It's fantastic. So, you know, really it's, you know, 2R. I don't, I very rarely get out at a 2R loss, even though I start my stop there. Usually it's 1R, 1.25, somewhere in there. So this definitely gave me the trade. So then when I do have a 2R loss, it paid for it basically, you know. The good thing is it did pay for the loser I just had and then put profit back in my account. So pretty sweet. All right, everybody, hopefully tomorrow we can pull another one, but I'm going to call it a night. 
And if you're watching this and you're interested in my um, trading strategies or my algorithm for futures market, I have three of them. So I'm going to close Active Trader here and then go over to Store Sales. So I have my red light, green light, my red dot, and my sniper strategy or my three strategies for the futures market. So if you're interested in these over at 2020daytrader.com, you go over to the futures tab and you can learn a lot more about the strategies. And actually the futures trading course that I have there is 100% free. So all of my all of my classes, my day trading class, swing trading, all that stuff is free. My risk management, everything in there, I don't charge for any of that. The only thing I'm charging for right now is the algorithm itself. So if you go through the course and you decide this is right for you and you want to do it, then you can go ahead and purchase the algorithm. And I teach you how to load it into Thinkorswim. It's not hard. And if you have any issues, just shoot me an email and I'll help you with it. And then you can, you know, get the algorithm in and test it out. But and before you make that investment, you can go through the whole course and see if it's right for you. So, um, and then if you do make the investment and purchase the algorithm, it comes with a 100% money back guarantee. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know who else is offering 100% money back guarantee on their trading stuff. So, Definitely uh, check it out if you're interested in the futures market and if you're interested in trading off an algorithm. I don't need candlestick patterns. I don't need to learn how to read charts and support resistance. I don't need any of that. Some of it definitely, you know, influences my decisions sometimes. I've been trading for like 20 years, so I've seen a lot of things, but um, I don't need it. So if you want to be trading based on just a, a statistical probability of success that an algorithm's giving, then uh, definitely uh, might be right for you. All right, so we'll see you all tomorrow. 2020daytrader.com